So this just happened. It appears that Kurama has been reincarnated. Now this has been explained in the past. When a Jinjuriki dies, they respawn. Pretty simple stuff. Well, not really. The community is very split and confused by this. So I'll recite the majority of their concerns. <coughs> I thought Kurama was gonna be destroyed during Baryon mode. How did he come back? And scene. Now let's address this. During my first read through, I too thought Kurama wasn't coming back, but from a second look through, I saw nothing that implies the end of his reincarnation cycle. In the panel, it states Kurama and Naruto's chakra will be consumed to create a new energy, which ended up being the fuel to produce Baryon mode. In the Naruto universe, when someone runs out of chakra, they die, which isn't out of a norm. But what about when the tailed beast runs out of chakra? How Kurama created the tailed beast by splitting the ten tails into nine pieces, giving life to each split by using the creation of all things technique. These guys are the living embodiments of chakra. You'd expect their reincarnation cycle to end if they ran out of the stuff they're made out of, right? Wrong. Kurama gave Naruto his last bit of chakra during the Final Valley Part 2 fight, and it was say that if Kurama was to give up his last bit of chakra, he'd only be forced to sleep, which makes things very confusing, but I can fill in the blanks here. Let's just say Baryon Mode forcefully consumes chakra to the point of exhaustion which causes death and when he gave naruto his last bit of chakra it was only the amount that he could offer before death there's been plenty of times when characters ran out of chakra and didn't die it appears that characters only die when they strain themselves beyond that point like when gakashi used kamui to save choji or times where people have been alive like when itachi claimed that sasuke didn't have any chakra left and he agreed which is why Krama coming back is seemingly consistent because this would just make it no more than a standard death i will say this it is a bit concerning that Shikamaru didn't see this as a possibility, since the Three Tails was reincarnated from the death of a Leaf Shinobi, meaning that either Naruto didn't explain it properly to Shikamaru, or Kurama pulled off some trickery. I mean, that would explain why he's within Himawari and didn't need some weird ritual to be placed there. Now, it's possible he chose to respawn there, but I'd ask why not go back to Naruto. The only answer I could think of is maybe they can consciously choose where they respawn, or Hagoromo decides where they respawn. Seeing that Naruto was stuck in another dimension, he decides to send Kurama to Inwari. Ah, but who knows? It's clear that we'll get answers by next chapter. I can't wait to see what Kishi and Iki decide to cook up, just like I'll cook you up if you don't join the Discord. We've actually gained some new subscribers, and that's just been a blessing, man. I, I appreciate you guys. Let us know your theories on how Kurama came back in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Karma out. Thank <laughs> you.